Characters like Robin and Spider-Man paved the way for the next generation of young superheroes. They showed us that a younger generation could actually learn from the mistakes of their predecessors and eventually develop into strong heroes as well. Well, some of them will. What's going on nerds? I'm your host Johnny Rogers and if you happen to be new here we cover all things Marvel, DC and well anything nerdy. So hit that subscribe button to join our notification squad and leave us a comment down below with what you think about Robert Pattinson playing the new Batman. Also make sure you stay all the way to the end of this video because if you're lucky we may just have some sweet bloopers for you. I'm sure there's a few names it's gonna take me a while to get. Now obviously there are a lot of time discrepancies in the comic book world with people being de-aged and re-aged. It all can get a little complex. So we'll be talking about the mutants that joined the X-Men while they were young instead. With that in mind, let's get right into today's list of the top 10 youngest mutants. In at number 10, Jubilee. First introduced in Chris Claremont's run of Uncanny X-Men in 1989, this young mutant has gone through a lot. Fans fell in love with the character in the animated X-Men series due to her relatability of teens in that era. She was a beacon of hope for many. A story of an orphan fleeing her home, stealing food to survive, and discovering her powers along the way. Her mall rat teenager vibe made people underestimate her full potential though. With the ability to detonate matter in an atomic level, Jubilee is just as powerful as a nuclear fusion bomb. In her early days, she was seen as Wolverine's sidekick, always in his shadow, but now as a grown woman, she has truly come into her own. In at number 9, Quentin Quire. Also known as Kid Omega, Quentin joined the student body of the Xavier Institute after Professor X returned from stopping a war with Genosha and as he rebuilt the X Mansion. Even as a young mutant, he stood out amongst his peers as having a bright intellect and quickly was ushered in as Xavier's prized pupil. Quentin understood from a very early age that humans didn't really care for mutants. In fact, to remind himself of this, Quentin kept a piece of newspaper with him from the Daily Bugle of the day that he was born. The main artwork was a photo of a mutant with a whip and a distinctive haircut and clothing. It represented the fear that humans felt towards mutants, but also served as a motivator for Quentin. During one of his major story arcs where he finds out that he was adopted, Quentin decides to get his haircut just like the mutant from that article. This search for his identity really synced up to Quentin's path to kind of coming into his own. Or as Emma Frost put it, his brain was processing over 10,000 brilliant ideas per second. That's one smart young mutant. In at number 8, Glob. Another young mutant and fellow member of the Omega Gang is Glob. Also known as Robert Herman, his skin is completely transparent and made up of living wax. He too was one of Xavier's top students and a dear friend to Kid Omega. As a kid himself, he was well known to be the class clown and troublemaker amongst his peers. After the mutant fashion designer Jumbo Carnation was killed by an anti-mutant activist, Herman joined the Omega Mutants with Quentin. Being young and reckless, this new gang of mutant activists attacks several humans as a form of retaliation I guess. However, these youngins would have to learn their lesson the hard way. After being caught by the X-Men, the Omega team was forced to fulfill various humanitarian work and aid those in need. In at number 7, Eric Gitter. Eric, better known as Inc, isn't technically a mutant by birth like most of these people, but his ties to the young X-Men earn him a spot on this list. Eric was a loudmouth, rude teenager that didn't really care what others thought of him. He was one of the first young X-Men members that believed the team had been organized by Cyclops, who was later revealed to be Donald Pierce. As I mentioned, Eric isn't your average mutant. He gained his powers from a tattoo artist that could gift individuals with powers of their own. Eric decided to get a biohazard tattoo on his hand, and when two cops later entered the parlor, he proceeded to try it out. The cop immediately drops to the floor and begins to throw up. With this new power literally in his hands, he became a valued member of the former New Mutants and to his team of young X-Men. This however only came after Eric had a change of heart upon realizing that he had been tricked by Donald Pierce. In at number 6, Blindfold. Ruth Aldean is certainly one of the more sad origin stories in this list. Born as a mutant with no eyes or open eye sockets, her father left both her mother and her older brother only a week after she was born. Her brother Luca hated Ruth for being a mutant and causing all of the problems in his life. In an attempt to kill Ruth with a chainsaw, his mother was the one who lost her life after trying to defend her daughter from Luca's attack. After this tragic moment in her life, Ruth was raised by her aunt in a much more loving environment. This is where she truly was able to learn and control her powers. However, even as her brother was set for execution, Ruth still appeared to show some sense of family solidarity. Luca though was still bitter and during his final moments he manifested astral projection that would steal half of her power. This left her mind in a state of utter disarray. Following 
Following that incident, Ruth would later attend the Xavier Institute. In at number 5, Wolf Cub. Born Nicholas Gleason, he is a young mutant that possesses a werewolf like appearance. Kind of looks like the love child of Wolverine and Beast. As a child, Nick was an early mutant bloomer. Some do not develop their powers until puberty, but from the jump, Nick transformed into his wolf like state. When his parents died, Nick was attacked by two humans with mechanical enhancements that clearly did not like mutants. Fortunately for him, though, he was saved by Decibel and Cyclops. This is when he was brought to Xavier's Institute to explore more of how his powers worked and to be kept in a safe environment. In at number 4, Anoli. His real name is Victor Brokowski, and unlike most of the troubled childhood stories from these other young mutants, Victor belonged to a very loving family. Despite having reptilian features, he led a normal life and was largely accepted by his community when the mutation began at the age of 13. Although once the anti-mutant propaganda started, his parents began to fear for his safety. So in order to protect him, he was sent to Xavier's Institute to learn and control his powers. In at number 3, Rock Slide. Sando Vaccaro is another young mutant that would develop his powers pre-decimation. Since joining the Xavier Institute, he had no known contact with any of his family members. Instead, he became close friends with Hellion while training with the Hellion Squad. Handpicked by Emma Frost, Rockslide joined the team and went on to win the Field Day Tournament, which declared them the best squad at the end of the school year. As I mentioned, he developed his powers pre-decimation, which saw the Scarlet Witch kind of creating this reality known as the House of M. In that reality, a lot of his fellow students ended up losing their powers, but he kept his. In at number 2, Dust. Saray Kadir was born as a mutant in the Middle East. As a child, she was kidnapped and sold into slavery. However, when the attackers attempted to remove her headdress, she fought back, turning them into dust. Luckily, Phantom X discovered and rescued her before Wolverine had to come in and just take out the remaining slave traders that had captured dust in the first place. From there, she was taken to safety at the Indian X Corporation base in Mumbai. Once arriving at the Xavier Institute, dust was very quiet and nervous. Not only was there a culture shock she needed to embrace, Race, but due to her immense powers, she was placed in the special class of mutants. Last but not least in our number one spot, Hope Summers. If you're a fan of the Deadpool series, then you'll remember that Cable had traveled from a desolate future and often name dropped his very powerful daughter Hope. After being one of the first mutants born post decimation in Cooperstown, Alaska, little Hope was viewed as a threat. The purifiers attacked the town with Hope being the only child that was left unharmed. Eventually Cable was able to save her and begin to make the claim that she was the Messiah, the one destined to save all mutants and humankind. However, people such as Bishop viewed Hope's birth as quite the opposite. On the flip side, she was seen as the beginning of the end, an antichrist of sorts, destined to kill a million humans in six minutes. Once again, this fear turned the humans against the mutants, kicking off another era of mutant persecution. Hope is quite possibly the most powerful mutant in the Marvel Universe and has been since birth. Her link to the Phoenix Force and the ability to mimic the powers of other mutants around her and even enhance those powers truly does give hope to young mutants everywhere. Don't mind the pun, that's just me. And that has been the Top 10 Youngest Mutants. Thank you for watching Top 10 Nerd. And if you enjoyed this video, then show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Also, we have Instagram, so if you want to give us a follow on that, the link for that is in the description below. Tons of behind the scenes content. You don't want to miss it. And while you're there, why don't you leave us a comment with your thoughts on this video. Plus, for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is tap that playlist when it comes up on your screen. From Top 10 Nerd, my name is Johnny Rogers, saying until next time, stay classy. They would steal half of Ruth's powers. They would steal half of Ruth's pa Ruth, 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 Ruth. Why can't I say that name? Ruth, Ruth. My teeth don't make that noise. My face doesn't make the noise. Ruth. Ruru. Let's just call it Ruru. Surrey Kadir was born as a mutant in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. <laughs> I think that's how you actually would say it. Afghanistan. Oh, says, Afghanistan is the American way. Yeah, Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Afghanistan? Afghanistan. Sure. Surah Kadir was born as a mutant in Afghanistan and. <laughs> My whiteness is showing. It's showing. In the Middle East. Nailed it. If you're a fan of Deadpool Tool, then. Deadpool Tool? Deadpool Tool. If you're a fan of Deadpool 2, then you'll, rem then you'll remember that cape. Then you'll remember. If you're a fan of Deadpool Tool, then you. Deadpool Tool, I keep saying. Deadpool Tool. <laughs> For. Deadpool Tool 2. Deadpool Tool 2. Tool time. <laughs> I want to see Deadpool doing home improvement. Eventually, Cable was able to save her and begin. And begin. Begin. Cable was able. Find a girl named Sable.
Okay.